sorry, I can't figure out how to unmute myself. Um, no, I was just, I was just thinking, but no, I agree with what you said. Well, a lot of people uh, think it's much more complicated than that. See, and that's that's why there are so many uh, conflicting opinions about this. All right, now. Um, if we are concerned with getting strong, uh, we have developed a uh, a model for the training of strength. And let me just present it to you right now. We use barbells for this task because we are looking for normal human movement patterns that can be loaded progressively and incrementally. Now, that's terribly important that you understand what we're talking about here, normal human movement patterns would be what? There are only five or six of them. This squatting down and standing back up. That's a normal human movement pattern. There's uh, picking something up off the floor. Normal human movement pattern. <laughs> Pushing something up over your head. Pushing something away from you, like a bench press. Pulling something toward you. And that would be like a chin. Do you see how that's the same thing as a chin up? Right. The, the mass of your body, if it were fixed, would be pulling your hands toward you. But the chin up bar is fixed and you're not. So you pull yourself up toward the chin up and that is pulling something toward you. Everybody understands that, right? Okay. And then there is throwing something. All right. And we use the power clean for that. Now the press gets into that, into that sector of human movement as well. Because the way we coach the press, it's it's kind of like a throw, which is a normal human movement pattern. All right. Now you'll notice that all of those normal human movement patterns use more than one joint at a time. Right. Well, if I'm trying to to produce strength in the human body, I have to produce strength in the whole human body because the whole thing is involved in normal human movement patterns. The whole body is involved in that. And there's so so do leg extensions have a place in strength training? No, they don't, do they? Now, they have a place in the business of selling health club memberships, right? They have a biz, they have a place in the business that we call personal training, where your personal trainer sits beside you on the bench while you're doing your leg extensions so she can talk to you about her kids, All right, That's, that's a good place for leg extensions. But in terms of strength training, leg extensions don't work because they're not a normal human movement pattern. In fact, they didn't exist before someone invented the machine. Can you think of an example in human movement where you only extend the knee against the resistance? There's not one, is there? 